Good morning, Garden Prince and Family. It's Judy from a Girl in the Garden coming to you from Chicagoland, um, Zone 5B. Today it's um, Sunday, April 30th. So I will be posting this probably um, later on today. But anyway, I got my hat because I'm freezing. I got my robe on. I got my sweatshirt on. I am cold. Everyone's still sleeping. So I thought I'm going to work on a project. <laughs> my poor pantry um, needs to be organized and just needs to be loved a little bit so today is grocery day we are gonna go get groceries I have my meal plan done for um, May but I think I'm gonna be reworking through that because I just feel like there are some things that we need to use up in here I don't need to buy um, some pasta I'll show you guys how much pasta I actually have um, I don't need any more and I know we have pasta a couple days um, I think like four or five days in the month of May um, we have a lot going on in the month of May it's a little crazy my daughter turns 21 um, my son is finishing his first year of college um, my little guy is you know leaving seventh grade and you know they're gonna have you know he's gonna be going into eighth grade so all of his buddies are gonna be getting together at the end of the month um, we have Memorial Day we have um, my nephew's graduation we have uh, a family function my niece is graduating college like there's just a lot going on and so I have to really be strategic um, we're having some company in town a couple weeks um, and then we have doctor's appointments like that are absolutely insane like our our May is jam-packed and it's garden season hallelujah uh, I'm so oh, so excited for that um, and so I'm trying to get all my stuff outside I'm trying to make sure that is taken care of all the plants and mulch and everything is taken care of but I feel like this week I've really neglected my house because um, it's been so nice outside that I just felt like I needed to be out there and not in here. But since it's Sunday morning, everyone's still sleeping. I mean, it is early, people. Um, so let's just get started on this. I mean, Hot Mess Express right there. So come with me. So if you see me walk off camera and I'm gone for, you know, an extended period of time, it's because I'm either trying to put something in a baggie or I'm changing the container around because I want to do it at the moment that I'm thinking of it. Otherwise, I'm not going to remember. Um, and in this case, my daughter likes these cookies and she has a tendency to just put them away without putting them um, in a baggie and then she gets mad because they're not any good. So mom's trying to help her out. So that's what I'm doing. Just in case you want to know what I was doing when I'm standing there, I'm actually looking at dates. Like, I try to do a pantry clean out like once every couple months just because you know how things can get. Um, so I'm just checking dates. That's all. Nothing exciting. Do you ever get where you're just at a loss? Okay. So I have all my baked goods up here, like my snacks for my boys love Cheez-Its, and then I have my all-purpose unbleached, my all-purpose bleached, and then I have a bread flour, and then a rye flour. I don't know if you can see it all the way up there. Way up there. Right there. And then I have my brown sugar, my white sugar, and then I have 
more bread flour because I do make a lot of bread, although I haven't been lately just because, um, just life. And then I have a whole wheat flour here, and then I have noodles that my dad um, always used to make. And then he passed away, and so I'm trying to savor those noodles. And then here, I'm like, I love these containers here. Like, I love these. And I have them here, too, for a lot of my pastas that I use. My only thing is, is that I can't put them up here because I really want this to be baked. Baked goods. Um, but then I have all these pastas in here. And if I had enough of these to put into like containers like this, I would. I don't want to mix them. But I want this whole shelf to be these kind of containers. These are the Italian um, breadcrumbs that I made. Um, and then here's some that I bought. Um, I don't know. I'm going to take a five minute break and I'm just going to ponder how I want to do this because I have all of this, all of that to do. And then I still have to put away all of that. Be right back. All right. <clears throat> I figured it out. Bear with me. Watch and see. Holy cow, I did not realize how much canned meat we had. I, canned tuna is probably the only fish I'll eat, and I know that seems weird, but it is. Um, with that being said, I do like a canned chicken, especially if I'm doing it in like a stuffing, like a stuffed manicotti, or um, a dip, or just something I can eat quick, right? chicken salad sandwiches that I don't want to make a whole bunch of chicken and then or I don't have any leftover chicken that comes really nice. Um, we have four things of crab meat. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Three things of mini shrimps. Um, I can see that. I can make a shrimp dip with that. And then we have two things of red sake salmon. Now, I know when Brian was really sick and in the hospital. I mean, he's still very sick, but when he was in the hospital, um, people would bring us groceries, like, out of their pantry, probably things that they didn't want, which is fine. I've used a lot of them. Apparently, I have not used the shrimp or the canned anything, um, canned meat, except for tuna. Um, but anyway, I'm very grateful extremely grateful that people bought brought us stuff I mean and now I can just incorporate that I don't eat a lot of fish I, I just don't like the texture um, but everybody else in my house does so I'm gonna have to come up with a very creative way to um, to use this so I just wanted to stop and show you um, these are the tunas that I bought because I just bought some the other day. They were 69 cents and that's a good deal because they're usually $1.39 for a can this size. Um, two big cans of tuna. These were um, on a one day sale for 99 cents. So I picked up four, we're down to two. These are, um, I get them in the six pack. Um, they're the chicken breast. I get them in the six pack at either Costco or Sam's, whichever store I'm at. five cans of sardines. What? Brian will eat them, but still. Two cans of salmon. And then, I don't know if you can see it right, maybe if I move my hand right here is three cans of um, shrimp. I don't want to take them all out. I hope you guys can see them, but they're there. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, um, yeah, 
this is definitely an eye-opening experience. I should really probably clean out my pantry a little bit more often, but let's continue on. Alrighty, so here is the final. Squeeze back. Huge difference. So up here we have snacks, um, flowers, rye, bread, unbleached, bleached, um, mini chocolate chips that we get in bulk from Azure Standard, keto wheat, brown sugar. Chopped onions I get um, in bulk during, well, when all my garden onions are all used up. Sugar that I need to replace or fill up. Um, bread flour, whole wheat flour, pretzels, and then my dad's noodles. Those are what I was talking about. All right, second shelf, not a fan of it. Um, but I have a thought process. So I like all these containers. I kind of want them all together. Cereal, rice, um, doesn't really go together, but it goes together. And then I have crumbs, panko, and then I have that big, big container. Um, and then I have just noodles here. And then these are spaghetti sauces and Alfredo sauces. Um, I normally make my spaghetti sauce, but um, I ran out. So I had to buy some. They were 99 cents, so I got four. Um, and then I have my Alfredo. We already went through the whole can chicken and uh, fish scenario, so we don't need to go through that again. I put it here because for the kids, it's just easy access. Um, I use cream soups probably oh, three or four times a week. So that's important to me to have that like eye level and ready to go. And then over here is just kind of cereals and snacky crackers and things. We don't eat them a whole lot, but um, so that way they're they're kind of tucked in the corner. So if you're just looking here, so here you can see that they're there, but you can't see that we have them in plain sight. So they're there. Um, kind of, yep, I knew that was going to happen. Alrighty. And then down here, um, some tea and then I have like butter or popcorn and then like my pancake stuff I don't use that stuff a lot so it's kind of there and then I have my boxed pastas and rices um, when I'm not making the stuff from rice or from scratch this is just easy quick things that if we're at chemo for nine ten hours I can just come home and have it if I don't lay out a freezer meal or the kids are home and they want to cook then it's there for them um, and then over here, I have my go-to, but mm, they're here if I need it, and they're quick, and I like to bake from scratch. My daughter likes to bake from scratch. So we have our baking things here. We have other things here, and then protein um, stuff for drinks and shakes and that my kids, my boy, my, my middle child, and my oldest um, like to do, um, and Brian will also have that sometimes. And then here is our third shelf down is just our, our go-to um, dips, peanut butter, pickles, ramen noodles on quick mornings or quick afternoons, um, our fruit and applesauce that we take to chemo with us. Um, I normally make, like I said, all the stuff from scratch, but when people were giving us um, groceries and different things, um, I got some box stuff. So we will be using those. We don't want them to go to waste. And then um, I did not make any broth this year. Shame on me, but it just didn't happen. So I have them. Um, they were on sale. Um, I mentioned before that the Walmart right close to me went out of business and they were selling groceries for 50% off. Um, so I did pick these up. And then Miller Wafers, I don't know what those are. Those are my daughters. Um, 
shell staple whipping cream. I make homemade macaroni and cheese and different um, like oh mashed potatoes or anything that really needs this. Um, shelf stable. Trader Joe's has them. They are seasonal. So I stocked up. I got, I don't know, I got enough to last and then I, enough to give away to my sister-in-law. Down here is different marinades uh, or pizza sauces, um, cowboy jalapenos, um, and then just basically all my canned stuff from the grocery store. Yep, spaghettios too, not gonna lie. Um, and then I have pepperconis back there that I got from Azure. We bought six, we're down to three. And then the last jar, my grandmother's pickles. Um, I'm savoring that one. I'm holding off on opening it until I know I'm going to have a cucumber crop um, so I can make more. And then down here is just alcohol. My daughter is turning 21. We're having a party for her. Um, and when Walmart was going out of business, yep, alcohol was on sale too. So we stocked up. And then just different oils, vinegars, um, pancake syrup, case of water. And then over here, is all my extra like reusable bags so and then over here is these i've got to put in the container um this i don't i mean i have no idea what this is it must be my daughter's this i'm going to eat today and make a appetizer out of um i just need to put these in i'm probably going to just throw those on top that's lunch today and then this is going to go to my neighbors um yeah, so that's what I, oh, my Mountain Dew. See that Mountain Dew? If I didn't have Mountain Dew, whoo, we would not be in a good mood today. So I just wanted to say thank you for coming along with me today. I really appreciate you hanging out with me while I'm cleaning out the pantry and just kind of doing mom things around the house before everyone wakes up. Um, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. I'm trying, what is on here? I'm really trying to grow my channel. Um, and I can't do that without you guys. So please just help me out if you can. Um, I'm very real. Like I don't hide a whole lot of stuff. Like what you see is what you get clearly. I'm in my, my hat, my robe, my pajama pants. I haven't brushed my teeth. It's early in the morning. Wanted to start my day with you guys. Um, and I hope you enjoy spending the day with me. So until next time, happy gardening and happy house organization or whatever makes you happy. Just be happy. Have a great day, everybody everybody. I forgot to mention, as I was cleaning um, the pantry and organizing it, I did write down some things that I forgot we had or I didn't realize we had. Um, so now I'm going to take my May um, meal plan and I'm going to rearrange it a little bit and take some things off that I don't want to get, get the groceries for or to just help with the grocery um, budget this month because today I was going to go um, shopping. So this really helped me um, have an eye opener that there are some things that I don't need to get that I was going to get or um, just change the plan around a little bit. And then I know what I have in the freezers. I did not record that. It, it was a midnight thing. I was tired. I couldn't sleep. Well, actually, I think I was so tired I couldn't sleep, if that makes sense. Anyway, with that being said, um, I know what's in our freezer. I know how much meat we have. I know what's going on down there for you know, pizzas or pizza dough, um, pie crust, um, chicken, meat, whatever it may be. I know what I have down there, so I'm not going to show you guys, but now, and I have my list so I can make a new meal plan based off of the things that I know we need to use in there. Like I wasn't planning on using these taco shells, but they do expire. Um, at the end of May and I don't want to forget about them so that's a today thing I'm just gonna make it get it done get it out of the way and have it over with um and then that frees up space in the pantry and um I didn't realize I didn't realize how much like canned stuff we had after um the generosity of others so I I, we're going to really use through a lot of that canned stuff, um, which is great. I think it's awesome. And thank you, because I know some of you um, watch my channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you for helping our family out. I really do appreciate it. Um, 
yeah and yeah I, I think I'm gonna be baking um today and then tomorrow afternoon because tomorrow morning is pretty crazy but um this this was an eye opener and this is what I needed so thank you again for coming along and um this is like the PS so PS hey um <laughs> anyway have a great day everyone thank you